Hello. Yeah, I'm I'm talking about uh, today. I'm talking about inventory and stock management training. So here we we have some models like uh, we can go for like step by step like stock management and inventory and inventory report generation, master creation of new items or barcode generation, and one more option is informal inventory. Here I'm going to talk about uh, stock management. In the sense, we are we can do the further placing the order and maintenance. Uh, there are few steps we are following it because this is a mandatory for maintaining the stock as well. So first step is we can keep all the vendor data like representativity number, either email ID of the vendor. So second step is need to keep best relationship between, between vendor and customer. So this is the main part of doing the stock management. And as per product, placing the order before we need to take that checking the stock as per we made list product for respective vendors the step four is take a decision to which product need to place the order that is we have to take the which is fast moving and which is the product we need to place under those so send our order via mail to respective vendors this is the one more option which we are maintaining it because this is we are going to keep a record for future Step six is once you're done mailing the order, inform the inform the vendor over the phone also. This will make immediate action with them. So step seven, once we have received the goods, need to check stock physically and quantity and products as per what vendor vendor build us. The steps eight is if you find any damage or due need to mention on the same bill in case if we find if you found any damage you need to return immediately step nine is need to make a note in case any due product from the vendor in separate excel sheet keep enquiry about new arrival and status of supply once you receive those goods you need to do the inventory these are the steps we are following in stock management and placing the order okay.